The first week of Fordham football camp is in the books, and we continue our position-by-position position look at the 2017 Rams as we check out the running backs. For the past three years, there has been one name that comes to mind when you speak about Fordham running backs, Chase Edmonds. The senior, a consensus first-team All-American last year, enters the year as a preseason All-America, as well as the preseason Pager League Offensive Player of the Year. Last fall, Edmonds, who finished fourth in the Walter Payton Award voting, led the NCAA FCS in rushing yards per game and was second in total rushing yards, as well as ranking second in all-purpose yards per game and third in rushing touchdowns. He accumulated just under 1,800 yards rushing with 19 touchdowns and also caught 25 passes for 272 yards. Against Lafayette on October 8th, Edmonds rushed for a school and Patriot League record 359 yards on just 17 carries, averaging 21.1 yards per carry. That set an NCAA FCS record for most yards gained per rush in a game. Over his three-year career, Edmonds has rushed for a school record 5,285 yards, just 336 yards shy of the Patriot League career record. He has 62 career rushing touchdowns and 69 overall career touchdowns, both school and Patriot League records. However, the Fordham offensive backfield is far from a one-man show as Edmonds is joined by senior Jared Brevard, sophomore D'Angelo Palladino, and freshman Zach Davis. Brevard appeared in seven games for the Rams last year, rushing eight times for 39 yards, including 25 in the Ram Crusader Cup win over Holy Cross at Yankee Stadium. He also made four tackles on special teams. Palladino saw action in seven games as a freshman, rushing 19 times for 116 yards and one score. His big game came against Elizabeth City State, where he picked up 119 rushing yards and scored a touchdown. Davis joins the Rams after a stellar career at Wallingford High School in Wallingford, Connecticut, where he was a 2016 Max Preps All-American and was named the USA Today Connecticut Offensive Player of the Year. He averaged over 350 yards per game rushing in 2016, finishing with 3,588 rushing yards and scoring 52 total touchdowns last fall. Hey Chase, we're uh, a little over a week into camp. How's camp been going so far? Camp's been going great. You know, the guys competing out here. We've got a couple banged up bodies, but uh, one, I guess, positive side of that is that, you know, the freshmen coming, the younger guys who can't really take as many reps with the ones coming and, you know, do a great job of just adjusting to the speed of the game and also really stepping up. Now, personally, what are you looking to improve on? I mean, obviously, I mean, people look at you and they don't think, well, but I'm sure there's something, being a perfectionist, yes. that there's something you're looking to improve on this, this camp. Oh, uh, really, I want to improve my pass for a lot. You know, I just really want to work on protected 14, you know, Kevin Anderson, and, uh, <laughs> really protect, uh, working on my leadership role as well, you know, trying to speak up to the younger guys, you know, showing the ropes a little bit. Now, the accolades are there. I mean, all the records. Is there any record that you've set so far that you are going to set? Because obviously there's a couple more coming up. That means anything, means more to you than the others? Um... I guess the, the the particular one that everybody talks about, you know, the uh, um, Adrian Peterson one. Um, but really, I want to set that for my guys, for my line. You know, I think that they're really underappreciated, and I think that it's just funny how, you know, you know, obviously, you know, my my individual statistics, you know, people say what they want about them, but it's just that uh, I don't run the ball by myself. You know, I have five guys blocking in front of me. I've had five guys blocking in front of me for the last three years, and it's just, you know, it was, it was funny to me how Anthony Court wasn't on the preseason All-American team at all when he was third team All-American last year, but you know, that's what it is. So I'm really trying to do it for those guys. Now that said, obviously you're much more of a team guy. You're not really into the numbers. Yeah. Um, how much motivation is it this year? You made the NCAA's first two years, yes. didn't make it. You were on that bubble last year. How much motivation is that for oh, you? Oh, that's, that's the back? number one motivation. Yeah. Uh, just to get Fordham to depths in the playoffs that we haven't been to yet. I really want to push this team and strive this team for greatness and you know, get a far playoff run as far as we can go and really show guys and other teams in the country that we can play with the best. And lastly, I mean, obviously Fordham, when people think of Fordham running backs, Chase Edmond comes out. But there's a couple other guys back yeah. there who have shown that they can do it. D'Angelo, yeah. um, and even the freshman Zach. Zach and, 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 yeah. They've all shown that they can yeah. play. I mean, what advice do you give them? Because obviously they're not seeing as much game action as you. Um, I just give them the advice that Coach Brown always preaches on, and that's in uh, when your number gets called, you do what you can do. You do the best you can. Uh, the standard is always set at high expectations, no matter who's in there, whether Anthony Quill is in there or whether Dom Lombard's in there, Garrett Donaldson, Zach Davis, Chase Evans, it doesn't matter. I think that when your number gets called, you just got to do as great of a job as you can do.